We really should have fireworks and confetti because tonight we are celebrating the great Bill Shields. After 41 years covering the news for WBZ, Bill is retiring today and wrapping up just a remarkable career of storytelling. Bill Shields. When you cover news in the Boston area for 41 years, you cover a lot of ground. In Tewksbury, from Chatham, in Duxbury, in Revere, in Natick, in Hingham, in Boston, in Woods Hole, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News. He took us to the top of New England. Mid-February, the highest peak in the Northeast, the air temperature is only 20 degrees, very light winds. For the people who spend a lot of time up here, this is like a day at the beach. He wasn't looking for peace and quiet. He was trying to turn a boyhood dream into reality. Barry Clifford was after pirate's treasure. And to the bottom of the sea. Bill helped usher in the new... For the most part, the Alewife station is getting high marks from the riders so far. It's beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. It's nice to look at. Looks like something at Disney World. And say goodbye to the old. Sure, we all love the old place, but maybe it is time for a new romance. You miss it? Oh, no, not really. I've seen a lot of things happen in this building, sure. I have a lot of pleasant memories about the building, but I've been ready for a new arena for years. Really, Bob? A true Bill Shields story always has someone you remember. Fist bumping. Good one. Now, that's key, because to raise money for leukemia research, what cured him, hashtag bump out cancer. Do it. Boom. Cry with. I haven't seen a little guy in, since February. <laughs> Rick Young made it home, and our camera captured the heart-wrenching reunion. Hi, buddy. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Laugh with. Peter and Warren Lincoln wrote it when they were newly married. Trying to get her to go on the roller coaster, and I made it once. <laughs> <laughs> you got her to go one time? That's all. Sometimes that's Bill himself. Show you bigger pan the camera this way, will you? You're going to see the force. Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. You're going to see the force of the wind in the marsh. Getting pounded by wind, rain, snow for hours is not a great way to spend a day. It's not a day to go walk on the beach. You're but Bill did it with humor. I was about to say, I think it died down just a little bit. Wrong. And never failed to create a memorable moment. I've been living here 37 years, so I'm kind of a local, but I grew up in South Texas near Mexico. Evan, he grew up in Austin. He's lived here for years, been a photographer. So, in effect, you got two Texans driving around in a snowstorm in New England. <laughs> what does that say about us? Mother Nature couldn't <laughs> knock him down, and neither could cancer. Bill fought it and won with your love and support. The good doctors at Dana-Farber have me back on my feet now, although they... They don't have my hair growing back yet, but that'll come. So if anyone has earned some rest and relaxation, it's our friend. What? Go ahead. I hear you. Go ahead. And yours, Bill Shields. A candlelight vigil. And Bill, the man, the myth, the legend joins us live. Bill, you were talking about a guy in one of your stories, and you said it was his dream. Looking back on 41 years, was this yours? It was, Lisa. It was my dream, and it, it was... It was something I told my parents about when I was in high school. I wanted to be in the middle of the news. You had Vietnam going, escalating. You had protests escalating. I said, I want to be in the middle of that. I want to be there. And so it was a dream come true when I got this job, because back in a lot of the 80s and 90s, we were going around the world covering stories. Uh, it, was, it was quite a time. And I, I've, had, I've had nothing but fun, mm. really. I mean, I... There have been some door knocks I haven't liked, but <laughs> it's, it's been nothing but fun. Except that video tells me how... I, I'm reminded of Jon Stewart when he looks in the mirror on that Apple promo. What happened to my face? That's what I was thinking of when I was watching that. No, you look amazing. Bill, I can tell you that the, the day that I became a fan of yours, you'll never remember this because it was like 22 years ago, but I was a very, very young reporter. I was at a news conference in Quincy. I asked a really dumb question to a district attorney, and everyone snickered at me. When the press conference was over, you pulled me aside. You didn't even know me. You sat me on a bench. You cheered me up. You gave me some tips about being a reporter. I'll never forget that day. You are a true gentleman. And a great friend. And, well, thank you. And, I, David, I also remember a time, the first time you 
you kicked my rear on a story when you, you were working for another station. And I saw the stories that night, and I said, well, he beat me on that one. The kid's learning. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to your advice, Bill Shields. <laughs> You are a great mentor, a great friend, and we are blessed to have worked with you, Bill. All the best in retirement, I, friend. I am, I am blessed to have lived in New England for 41 years and have had more fun than anyone is entitled to. Yep. And I got to thank, entitled. of all people, the photogs, the editors, my wife. For, of 30 years now, going on 30 years, for putting up with me, <laughs> you know? And the hair is back, Bill. <laughs> The hair is back as well. <laughs> you are well, strong, yeah, friend. This, David. Look, I, I used to have hair here. <laughs> Overrated. Bill, thank you so much. Thanks, Bill. <laughs>